Hey folks, Travis here from Northwoods Overland coming to you with another upgrade video for the 4Runner. Today we're going to be installing some Rago Fabrication Mole panels in the rear side windows to help give us some modular storage options inside of the back of the 4Runner. The install should take about 30 minutes, if not a little less, depending on having the right tools and all that fun stuff. Um, but Rago provides all the gear that you need to be able to do this and you should be happy with the results afterwards. So we'll jump right in and get this thing installed. So the first step here is of course unboxing everything and getting it all laid out. As you can tell, we have the two mole panels here from Rego already powder coated in a nice black, uh, as well as all of the hardware that we need to actually mount these and a nice suite inside of here for when we're done. The next thing we need to do is just get all of this stuff unboxed and get the left and right sides all taken care of and mounted and we should be all set. Okay, so the first thing you need to install, we're gonna start with the driver's side here and then we'll Everything's just kind of mirrored for the other side. We need to remove this, this, get down to the screws, and then the same here, because those will be our mounting points for ins for the actual mole panel. Um, so first thing, just use a flathead to get underneath here and remove that. Um, same thing here, they also make some, some attachments that you can actually do for like removing pieces of trim and stuff like that. They'll be a little gentler than a metal screwdriver, but I don't have one of those and I'm just gonna use my metal screwdriver. These seem to come out really easy if you just twist them as part of this. And then once we remove the bolts, we're actually gonna to wanna to go through and remove this plastic housing on the outside as well so we can free up all of this to be able to put the, the spacers and standoffs inside of here. So from my model this is a 2019 forerunner these are both regular Phillips heads um, you might find some Allen's underneath here as well okay. screw remove and then the plastic housing piece as well After getting this one out, we'll just go at that with the regular flip set and get that removed as well. Right. And then the last thing you need is a 10 millimeter to get this one off at the top. Right. So now once you have all those pieces off, you're gonna to wanna to assemble the mole panels back in uh, together to then be able to mount up here and then we'll tighten everything down. Okay, so to put these together, you need a five millimeter Allen wrench to be able to fit into this and then you need a 10 millimeter wrench to be able to hold the back to be able to tighten it. So what you wanna do, if we're doing the driver's side here, this is going to mount this way with the, um, the extension for the top that's going to go into where the hook was at the top will mount like this. Stick your bolts in here and then tighten on the other side. We'll get this all set up, then we'll get it attached to there and we'll get everything mounted up. You want to make sure you put a washer on both sides and then your lock nut on the back. We're just going to loosen everything down first and then we'll tighten everything up afterwards. If it's easier for you too, instead of having to work out of the back of your forerunner, you can also just do this inside and bring them out afterwards. Like I mentioned, we're only gonna show you one side of this, but basically the process is just duplicated and mirrored on the other side. Sweet. So all those are somewhat finger tight, and we'll come in with the five millimeter Allen wrench afterwards and tighten them down a little bit more. Again, we don't want these to be ultra tight just yet because we might have to do some adjustments, but we want it so it doesn't completely move all the way around while we're up there. Cool. 
So that gets us mostly working inside of here and gives us at least enough to be able to mount onto that to be able to actually get it installed. So this here will mount like this and then everything will go and fit up inside of the rig like that. A few moments later. Cool. So with all of the mounting hardware attached and loose or loose enough that we can slide things around when we get up and install it, we'll go and actually get the pins installed inside of the sides of the, the rig to actually receive this and get everything tightened up. Another thing I forgot to mention that you're going to want to do when you're installing these standoffs is you're going to add a little Loctite to them. So the first one you're going to do here, which is the chamfered one, we're going to install on the back one that's closest to the seats. So we'll just install a little bit of Loctite on it just to make sure that it doesn't just vibrate itself out while we're driving around. And thread this in all the way. And the same thing with the front one here, that will go where you removed the actual um, other mountain clip. And it's recommended once you snug these in to actually come back with a, uh, a pipe wrench and actually tighten these just a little bit further just to make sure that they don't um, back out. For this you can use pipe pipe clamps or vice grips or anything like that, but you basically just want something that's going to give you enough torque on this to be able to tighten it down. And you don't want to over tighten, so definitely only go a little bit to where you think it actually is, is good enough and then you should be all set. Next thing we want to move on to is then taking this and actually installing it up here. So we're going to dry fit it really quickly just to make sure that everything seems to be lining up where we want it to be, and which it does. And then we we'll just finish the install. Cool. So once you get these mountain things in and tightened off, you'll next thing you'll want to do is you're gonna dry fit this to make sure everything fits in perfectly. You will be reusing the bolt that you took out from the top, which is for the hook that was or the cargo hook that was originally there. And then make sure when you're actually going to install it that you also unscrew these as well, because this will be the hardware that you're using to actually mount the mole panel. I recommend doing the top bolt first, that way it can hang from it, and then you can line everything else up and tighten everything else down afterwards. So at the worst case, see here, even we're just hanging, everything's loose, but now it allows us to actually come in here and mount these where we don't be matching these up to the standoff and then tighten everything up else in place. Just make sure you don't drop the bolt. And again, you don't want to tighten everything down too, too much right away. We're doing a lot of this just for the fit and make sure everything fits where we want it to be, positioned and all of that, and then we can tighten all this stuff. Now, depending on how you're doing this, you might actually want to take all this off once you kind of get a couple of the pieces where you're going to lay it out and then going and tighten these afterwards. I got a uh, 10 millimeter that I can actually fit into here to allow me to tighten all this up in place. Your mileage may vary, but there are some options. And I actually like tightening down all the edges first before I go after all of these, just to make sure that I have a place where I want it to be, instead of having to come in and tighten all this stuff down, then you realize you have a big, huge gap here. Cool. So as you can see here, we got all this tightened down. We're just gonna finish tightening these things down. And then it's just a mirror for the other side. So. If this video was helpful, we appreciate you following along, and uh, hopefully this is something you want to add to your rig. Rego is not paying me to do this. I sent them money, and they send me products, but I like to make videos for things that I like. 
Um, other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and uh, you can see me finishing this up and go from there. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Hope to see you on the trails. One thing we don't want to forget though is that as part of this, Rego sends you a bottle opener that you can actually add to the kit. So we'll be adding that right here and we'll set.